Hello guys and welcome back to the last part in this tutorial series about how to create a car in Unity. Today we are actually going to assign everything and we are also going to change a few things about the code, not very much, but we will come to that within a minute. So we're going towards car and we put here a component and we're going to call it simple car. That's the script we just created. We're going to assign everything. Um, so you see here that within the graphics that we put here our box collider that's not that smart and we also put it here so we're just going to remove this um, so we can just put it on one uh, place so we can just keep everything uh, be a child of the box collider and the wretched body that's what we're going to do right now so we're going to remove this component and we're going towards the car we're going to do here add component box collider and also a rigid body and of course we are going to say that the mass is for example 5 minutes kilos so we're just going towards the box collider and we're just going to change this a little bit and I don't think you really can see it but here is a line of the box collider uh, you can see it on your own screen probably um, and as you can see we just need to make it a little bit bigger so that it will fit the whole car and well because we got a little bit of a weird uh, car uh, normally it doesn't look like this but normally you just put here a um, mesh collider which is convex um, and that basically also makes sure that um, there aren't like any parts outside of the mesh and now we still got that uh, very important of that is that the wheels aren't included in one mesh with the car because we want to rotate the wheels on their self. Alright, so we got here a simple car. We are just going to assign the uh, rigid body. And then we're going to add a canvas. And we are going to do this to actually show um, what is exactly happening how fast is your speed what's your current gear and so on so we do the random mode screen space overlay what just means that we will just render it above all the other cameras um we are going to say that it is going to use scale with screen size it's always smart to do that to make sure that uh, it doesn't go outside of the screen i'm just going to add to text um so we're just going to press f and now we just see the screen like this we are going to watch the back view view and we're going to do it orthographic and we're just going to move this up and we're going to call this current gear text all right and we're going to make this white and we're going to put here an outline and this i'll make sure that you can just always see it uh, also make to make sure that you will always see it um, make sure that the alpha is fully turned on then we are also going to say that uh, we're also going to duplicate it and we're going to move it a little bit down and we're going to say here the current speed then um, we can just keep that like that and we can just go towards the car and we can just assign it so the speed and the gear and then we are going to put the actual infos there are in total uh, two and it's very important a few things um, the steering can only be the front two wheels and that's very important because otherwise you will get some weird behavior uh, normally so make sure that's only the uh, four wheel uh, the front, the two front wheels are uh, assigned to be the steering. Oh, I do it exactly the wrong way. I'm very sorry about that. Then we also going to put it right here. Um, but actually, it doesn't really matter which wheel you put where, as long as you got from the same X uh, actual info on the same um, element. So I'm going to say that this is the motor. This is just uh, a two um, two wheel car driving thing, and not a four wheel. So 
we got all the actual info, so that is done. And now we're going to put here uh, um, an amount of five gears. All right, so this is something I did with just try on error and just see what are the right variables. This is something you should do more because I just did uh, from like, oh, I like this, I like this. And for every game, it's a little bit different. Some people want cars that are very easy to flip over and other ones cars that are very fast or things like that. Um, anyway, we're going to say that this is 30. So that's the um, how fast you can. And it will turn around with 20 and the minimum speed is zero because it's the first one. And here you go to 18. And you're going to put here 10 and here 2. Um, at the start, I most times do a little, uh, a very low minimum speed so that people really think like, oh, I should switch to the next gear, to the next gear, to the next gear, to the next gear. Also, the steering angle always goes down so that whenever you're pressing the D or the E key, uh, you don't flip over directly. Um, I do it very extreme, so I can just uh, show you guys how it works, but normally you probably do it a little bit less, but again, this is trial and error, which you guys like the most. Um, I cannot see how you guys want to have your um, game. So here we are going to put 28. And by the way, this is meets per second. Um, I'm very sorry for people who use miles an hour or whatever. Um, so that's something we also going to fix later on for the text, but this um, for all the people who want to know that uh, 33 is like around uh, 110 miles an hour. Uh, so we are going to say that that's the maximum a little bit higher in the end uh, because we did that double one, but a lot of people will never come towards that point that it's, it's going to be that fast. Uh, the same with the Grand Theft Auto series. Where you can very fast, but no one really goes it fast because before you can actually, well, make that speed, you already crashed. All right. So now we got like everything set up here. Now we're going to hit play and just see what happens and see if everything will work, if there are any errors, and what we should fix. Um. We can just wait for a second. All right. Um, so as you can see, there are some errors, so we probably should fix that. All right, guys, uh, sorry for the weird cut. We are going to fix the two problems we have. We cannot see the text and we cannot see, or we see a little bit weird of a, a visual glitch here. So what we're going to do is zero this out and going to do the rotation again. And we're just going to rotate it around the set axis, just 90 degrees. Very simple. And then we're going towards the text and we're actually going to move it down towards in the screen because this is the canvas and we just put it outside the screen. Also, we're going to say, we're going to hold down shift and we're going to select the top left so it won't go uh, out of the screen again. Then uh, there, uh, we're going to test it and that's how realistic you get it with the wheel collider. If you want to have it a little bit more realistic, you need to create your own scripts by for the colliders and so on. Uh, that's a little bit, well, tougher to do that. Um, so that's why I didn't put it in this tutorial. This is how you have a simple car script um, where you can have gears and all, but it isn't too hard to create. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial series. Really smash that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And see you guys next week with another tutorial series. See you guys then. Bye.